Okay, here we are at the shimmy damper run-in cycle tester. Now we generally run these for 30 minutes, which is about a thousand strokes. And uh, for those who might be interested, this was a hot point washing machine at one point earlier in its life. And uh, with a modern motor and a variable frequency drive, it has become a commander shimmy damper tester. Mm -hmm. So the uh, damper gets mounted mm -hmm. up uh, mm -hmm. just as it would be mounted mm -hmm. on the airplane. Mm -hmm. uh, the way we can tell whether uh, we have any internal mm -hmm. interference mm -hmm. is, is to monitor electrically mm -hmm. during mm -hmm. the stroke testing. Mm -hmm. If the shaft were to come mm -hmm. into contact with the body by fully mm -hmm. compressing the O-ring, mm -hmm or the piston, mm -hmm. uh, likewise were mm -hmm. to come in contact internally, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. our meter mm -hmm. would chirp. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, this is currently mm -hmm. indicating mm -hmm. one over range. Mm -hmm. So no, mm -hmm. uh, no conductivity mm -hmm. between mm -hmm. the shaft mm -hmm. and the body mm -hmm. of the tester. Mm -hmm. If I were to create mm -hmm. Mm -hmm a mm -hmm. bit of con continuity. Mm -hmm. You may be able to hear my meter chirping. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you may even be able to see the meter indicating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this little guy has been running for 30 minutes and we'll shut him down and take him off. So here he is removed. Uh, the bushing and bearing uh, that will ship with the damper are actually used during the testing of the damper and then shipped along with it to make sure everything is okay with those. Uh, so now I'm going to hook up to this and uh, side load it by hand make sure I'm not able to put it into any any electrical contact. All right, now, I think you can see my meter. You may be able, able to hear my meter. And I've just proven that uh, I am able to test continuity through the body. Now when I hook to the shaft, we have no continuity. This is one, one of several areas in which the, the Aerodyne damper is phenomenally superior to the factory article. The factory article could be side-loaded into metal-to-metal -metal contact internally with the mere finger pressure on the shaft, whereas uh, the Aerodyne damper is designed with high-tech wear bands and uh, uh, appropriate O-rings uh, certified for this application. Uh, specifically and uh, those will uh, will keep the internals out of interference contact uh, we have tested uh, a couple of the engineering samples to 25,000 strokes if I push all the way the piston will ultimately contact inside the end cap and you hear the meter telling us okay if we did go that far bottoming the damper that we would have a contact naturally. Likewise, if I go the other way, it comes into contact. Uh, during our, in normal stroke, uh, we never reach those ends on the airplane. You never reach those travel limits. So what we're actually evaluating here is before reaching the limit, can I sideload this into any contact? And that answer is no. That's the right answer. Likewise, extending the other way. So that one, after it's 30 minute run in is uh, ready to go. Uh, it's, ex it's exhibiting no internal contact or interference uh, after approximately 1,000 cycle run in just to, uh, to initially break in the wear bands and the O rings.